Oh crap. What's going on? Bylaw day. Oh crap. All my stuff. <laughs> Gotta go. Shutting her down. Frigged over big time. Yeah. Customize that, eh? We shouldn't have. <laughs> Cut like two shelves off it when we got it. So it would fit in the shed. Frig, she's almost cleaned out. Now we just got bringing everything up there to deal with. Oh crap. You happy now, bylaw dummies? Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Probably not. It wasn't me. It was the one antlered man. What's wrong with your antler, bro? Uh, sliced it up good on one of them uh, reinforcing antlers. Oh, crap. Send him a bitch. You got a load on now. All the steel and everything. You can't carry it? Come on, you, look at your pipes, bro. Flex. Let's get a flex. Look at them things. Oh, big time. Big time. Look at the pipes on Mike. Look the frig out. Let's do this, buddy. Oh, you can totally make it, bro. It's just like a big dirty jump. You can totally make it. Just grab hold of that son bitch. Stab it right in Buddy's trailer. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, oh big time. Oh, oh big time. Oh, look at the pipes. Look at the pipes. Look at the friggin' pipes on that guy. He's earning his keep. Oh, today. big time. I'm probably gonna owe him half a pack of breathing antlers by the time the day's over. What are we up to so far, buddy? Three, four breathing inhalers? You okay? Look at those pipes. Oh, shit, buddy. Uh-oh. Oh, you can't? I can't. Oh, bro. Don't tell the Special Olympic people, but I can't. Bro. <laughs> there is no such thing as you can't. Wow. Oh, you can totally make it, bro. Watch your fingies. Okay, perfect. It's like the tow truck, guys. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All we got left is my tires from a truck. She's empty. I guess now I could fix the patch, patch the old hole on the floor. Those are where the chipmunks are getting in and building their nest in my nuts and bolt bins and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't think the bylaw guys got, you know, come here and say much. I mean, if they come here in two days and Take away my shipping container. I'm gonna be mad. Frig sakes. I'm gonna be mad. Big time. Friggin' can't even work on my project because the friggin' city's on me. Frig sakes. Oh crap. Oh crap. And that's going next. Man, you know how much this thing weighs? It's like 50 million tons. It's ridiculous. Frig. Well, we made it. A place for all this stuff. Oh crap. Look at it all. All the steel. Holy oh, crap, all my tires. We got all that room up there. Inventory. Yeah. Take time. Oh crap. We got a fleet happening now. Big Dirty might only be friggin' single rear wheel, but she's four wheel drive. Still a nice rig though. I like the lights on the top. I wish mine had that. She looks naked without it. Okay guys, oh, I fucked up big time. I got an IV, couple needles, miss an antler. Oh, so I'm off to the hospital. The other the hospital out here, they don't uh, they don't deal with stuff like that. They just uh, wrap you up and uh, tell you where to go. They don't even have an ambulance to come get me next time. So I gotta drive my damn self to the hospital after cutting the end of my antler off. You know, I need that thing. You know, for sake. So, but I took the tip off from the fingernail. Uh, like to the end. The bone's still there, but the tip is broken. So they're gonna have to cut the end of my antler off and then just use whatever skin's left to pinch off the end. So I'm gonna have a friggin' 
my middle antler is going to be stumpy on my left side. Oh, crap. Freaking just earlier today, I think I was making fun of uh, Zephmont there for uh, only having one antler. And now look, at least this is still attached. Holy. Starting a new crew. Yeah, starting a new crew. If you're missing an antler, you can join. You can join. I'm not prejudiced. You know? Oh man, what a drag, man. What a drag. This is going to put a kink in my plan. Look, I got my hospital papers, my x-rays and stuff to bring with me. Well, this puts my hell of a workload on the fair and Bam here now. Uh-huh. Bam's got to deal with the one antler man, or the, I guess a nine antler man, or whatever, depending on which antlers you're talking about. I'm just glad I cut off a hand antler and not a pant antler, you know what I'm saying? There's only one of them, so you know what I mean? Close, could have been. Well, yeah, well, you already texted the old lady, don't expect me home for dinner, dear. Yeah. She's going to meet me at the hospital and she's pretty upset with me again. She, she doesn't like getting the old I'm on my way to the hospital text. That's, uh, that's one of her least favorite. But if you ever got to get out of lugging your shit twice, you know, you can load her. And when you're unloading it, take off an antler. Three guys really, oh, I got to go to the hospital. One's got to drive you. Yeah. So the other two are stuck there, freaking out and offload the gear. But, you know, if I'm going to go to the hospital, I don't want to just go there and say hi, you know what I mean? I want to, if I'm not going to have surgery, it's a sense of going, you know? If you only ever listen to one thing I ever tell you, is keep your fingers clear of 400 pounds of steel. Please, do that for me. Everybody, you can learn something from my videos, you know? It's not just some funny, it's, you know, up and stuff, it's an educational. Holy crap, I wonder what's going to happen if you jump a Winnebago going full tilt to world. You break your back, so you know you don't have to do it. They would take care of that for you, you know what I mean? What, what happens when you're lugging a friggin' 400 pounds of steel on a, a friggin' cart, you're trying to set it down, but then the metal slides up the cart. I mean, it, it just popped right off. It was crazy. Well, I found one stuck in the dolly. Oh, you found a piece? And once I got all the metal off, man, uh, one of the nails was embedded inside the dolly. One of them? There's only one missing, yeah. I think. Well, uh, if you see one go ping, then I wouldn't, wouldn't be stuck in the dolly. Well, it looked like, well, because maybe it was got in half, because it, it, what I saw, it looked like half the nail with a piece of meat yeah. go flying, so maybe the, yeah, the rest of the man. nail fucking... Squeeze yeah, off or something. Maybe that was the bottom end because the, the top end stayed underneath all the metal. Yeah. And then I looked at it and I just saw like the point, you know, the bone is like a point. It comes to a point on the end of your finger, right? I saw that. And then I had to go lay down in front of the freezer at the store and just leave the door open to crack. And, you know, oh, it was good. She keeps strolling. Oh, everybody, somebody's, is, is he dying? Is, is, are we going to hurry though? Should we be faster here? <laughs> Oh, he's just laying in front of the freezer. This, <laughs> this guy comes into the store and he's like, Oh, Lee, are you okay, buddy? No, bud. Freaked over big time. Oh, half my finger's still over there in the shop, buddy. He's like, Oh, that's not good. He's like, Yeah. He says, I, I, I'm always overdoing her, you know. I never catch Pug doing anything half ass. I figure. I fucked something else up in my hand too. I don't know. I pulled something, or maybe it broke my baby finger. Even it's uh, hurt pretty good, but it's like I can't catch a break, you know. What's a guy got to do to catch a break around here? You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, we decided to go home first because Tiffany's gonna meet us out there anyway. So rather than have to drive home after having surgery. Got her to drive, and then Mike can you know, stay home if he wants or come for the trip. I don't care, whatever. Not given a choice, and we're on our way to the hospital, you know what I'm saying? But so, uh, 
So I'm gonna see if the hospital can do a do a video for me or if, you know, maybe breathing in our mic will be able to wear a little mask and do the filming. But uh, if not, I'll show you my stub anyway. I'll make sure they get a good clip of the stub before they do anything to it. Because it's good. It's a good one. Like, this isn't this isn't fucking around, man. I'm going to the hospital for to have an amputation done. I freaking tore the all the skin off the end of my finger, so it's just a bone sticking out, and that bone's broken. And they said because of that, there's a good chance of infection setting in, so they just give me an IV. Um, IV bag of a uh, couple of roofies and some antibiotics sent me on my way. Yeah. Tiffany's mad. You make me worry. It's not my fault. It's heavy. <laughs>